Hi, St. Mark family. It's Barbara Austin and Father Fabiano. Hi there, everyone. We're here with another episode of Conversations with Father. How you doing, Father? I'm okay. How are you? Very good. Welcome thank to the Rectory Living Room. Yes, thank you so much for inviting us here <laughs> Of today. course. So we're here in the Rectory talking today um, about a question from Pat. And she asked, Father, if you could talk about how seminarians get attached to St. Mark's. Okay. Well, so, the, I, I'm going to stop your... So they don't just ask to come to be a, a well, seminarian here? I mean, there's nothing better. So they should really all want to do that. But no, no, they don't ask. That's not how it works. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have one a seminarian right now, um, Deacon Zach Crowley, who's preparing to be ordained a priest. And... Uh, Deacon Zach grew up in this parish. Okay. So um, he went to Falston High School. So this is his home parish. And many of the viewers might know Zach and his family. So um, he uh, will be preparing for ordination this year. Um, it was supposed to be at the end of June, but now it's been moved to August 22nd. Okay. So he grew up in the parish. Mm -hmm. And then who's? how did he end up in the seminary in terms of where he went to seminary or um uh well when you apply to become a seminarian for the archdiocese you go through a very long and involved process of interviewings and psychological screenings and and all of those sorts of things and then once you're accepted they assign you to a, a seminary oh okay so if you need to do undergraduate studies you usually go to um saint john paul ii which is in washington dc uh, which is associated with Catholic University. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready for theology, which we call major seminary, the Archdiocese uses three different seminaries, St. Mary's in Baltimore on Roland Avenue, Mount St. Mary's in Emmitsburg, mm -hmm. and then the North American College, which is in Rome. Oh, So nice. um, they decide who goes where. And I don't really know how they decide that. <laughs> okay, so he grew up here. Mm -hmm. He was assigned to a seminary, mm -hmm. but he didn't actually do a year associated with the parish, did he? No. So when when you're you're not usually assigned back to your home parish, okay. like for the summer or your pastoral year, they send you out to other parishes to get other experiences. So how do how do seminarians get attached to us for the year, like? seminarian Ron. So, right. So many of our viewers may have heard that we've been assigned a seminarian for his pastoral year mm -hmm. internship. So that's done by the vocation office from the archdiocese. Uh, they match the seminarians up with the parish and the pastor when they are going on pastoral year. Oh, and so he gets to come and stay for a year for and a live year? with you and Father Foley. Mm -hmm. Yep. He'll live here in the rectory um, and he'll be involved in all of the things that go on in the parish, uh, religious education and Bible school and everything that happens in church and, and visits to the hospital and the homebound and all those sorts of things to see what it is that we do all day. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And so how did seminarian Zach right. get assigned to us? Right. So we have another Zach who's a right. seminarian who's attached to our parish. So Zach came from outside the archdiocese. He's from... Um, Kansas originally, mm -hmm. um, and when he was accepted as a seminarian for the Archdiocese, uh, the vocation office assigned this to be his home parish uh, so that he would have a place to go during breaks from school uh, and a place to feel like home here. So the whole time he was in seminary, he could come here? Yes. So he, would, he spent Easter break here and Christmas break here, and when they closed the seminary down, uh, when the, everything was starting with the virus, he came here to live to con while he was continuing his studies. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and so how long are you normally in seminary? Well, it depends. Uh, sometimes it could be as long as eight years, uh, but the shortest is usually six or seven. And you also said that when you went through seminary, you came out with two master's degree? I did. And so will all seminarians come out with two master's or is it different depending on where they go? It depends on the seminary you go to, but it's always a master's level degree. Because okay. different seminaries grant different degrees, but it's always master's level. And I think it's also important for our parishioners to be praying for our seminarians. I agree. Um, to pray that they persevere in their studies and succeed in their studies, and also that, that there'll be more seminarians for the archdiocese. Right. Well, I also think it's very important for our parishioners as well to pray for you and for all priests mm -hmm. so that you may remain strong in your vocation. Right. Do we have a prayer group, do you know, at St. Mark's that prays specifically for these things or? 
Not that I know of, no. Well, it sounds like maybe, guys, it sounds like maybe we need to send in the army for it would be our a good thing. and our priests. It would be a good thing to have here, yes. All right. Thanks for joining us with Conversations with Father, and thank you, Father. Of course. And if you have any questions for Father, please feel free to email me at baustin at stmarkfalston.org, and we look forward to seeing you at the next episode. And don't forget... If they like the video, please like, give us a like, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Yes, please. Thanks.